National Security Minister Herman Gild Francis has shot down a request from the Ayanola Council for the Advancement for Rastafari to export marijuana to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The president of ICA, Aaron Alexander, recently announced the body had written to the authorities requesting permission to take 50 pounds of cannabis along with them on a recent humanitarian trip via a vessel to aid the volcano-ravaged island. He said it was for religious purposes. We use herb as our sacrament and we know that presently our brothers in St. Vincent, Vincent, our brothers and sisters in St. Vincent do not have access to the sacrament. So we penned a letter to our Minister of um, Internal Security, the Honorable Herman Gil Francis, seeking a bit of an exemption to allow us to travel with some of our sacrament to deliver to our brothers and sisters in St. Vincent. We know that cannabis is illegal or decriminalized to a great extent in St. Vincent. So we know the Vincentian authorities will not have an issue with that. Um, however, St. Lucia is the problem. So we wrote to our Minister of Internal Security, Human Gil Francis, we carbon copied a letter to the Honorable Prime Minister, Alan Shastney, also to the Comptroller of Customs and also the Commissioner of Police. Speaking to the media on the steps of Parliament on Thursday, ahead of the sitting of the Senate, the National Security Minister would not even countenance the thought of such a request given the current prohibition of cannabis. I was happy that he was sending goods and services to his people in St. Vincent. I had a problem with that. But you can't ask me to break the law. That's ridiculous. And I'm going to justify that by responding. I'm not going to respond to that. As a matter of fact, the first thing that they should have taken is just put this on the side. You cannot ask a minister of justice to break the law. It's simple. And I explained everything. I said I've been in the forefront of this marijuana thing from day one. I've spoken twice on the, on the subject at ICA's platforms in Vivot and in Sufre. What else can I do? There is a process. The, the legislation is now with the AG's office. It's been drafted. And until then, we don't, do, we don't take any decision. Pro-Ganja groups have expressed frustration at what they see as the slow pace of cannabis law reform, including decriminalization. If you go to cabinet, you'll see there's a cabinet conclusion, and it has been sent to the AG's office. We have this S, um, the COVID thing going on there. Every other day, the AG has to be writing all sorts of statutory instruments. Okay, which is more important at this time? So are you saying that the, the marijuana legislation, this legalization legislation has kind of taken a backseat? No, it has not taken a backseat. I'm telling you, there are more pressing issues now with the lives of our people. Speaking of and that's what we're doing. Then. Back in February 2021, Commerce Minister Bradley Felix claimed that the Rastafarian community should be among the first groups to profit from the proposed marijuana industry. A legal framework for establishing a marijuana industry in St. Lucia is currently in the works. Pro-Ganja groups want cannabis consumption treated as a public health issue and not a criminal justice matter. Joachim Duplessis, HDS News Force.